Good day, grade 10s. Welcome to our next lesson in trigonometry. In this trigonometry lesson, you're going to be learning how to solve some very basic equations. Let's start with the really simplest equations. They say y is equal to tan 75. Now, this isn't really difficult because you guys have been taught how to do tan of 75 on your calculators. So let's just look at how we're going to do that. So it says y is equal to tan 75. So all we do is we make sure that our calculator is on degrees and then all we do is we've got tan of 75 and we put the equals button and it goes 3.73 so therefore we can write that oops I forgot I need a pen we can say that y is equal to 3.73 now similarly we've been done we've been taught how to do this we're using our calculator before okay so we're going to do that again it's very easy they just want to put an x equals and whatever 3 times cos 47 is so again we're going to use our calculator and we're going to go right we know how to do this it's 3 times cos of 47 degrees and we say equals and we end up with 2.05 why is it 2.05? Because that's a 5, which means we're rounding up the 4 to a 5. So it becomes 2.05. So that's 2.05. So obviously that's ridiculously easy. So let's get into something more complicated. Now we've got cos alpha is equal to 0 0.5, but we know how to solve for this alpha. We know in order to get rid of the cos on that, we need to say that alpha is equal to second function cos of 0.5. Remember to get rid of our cos, what are we doing? We're going to shift cos. We're finding the second function of cos. So let's do that again. We're going to use our calculator and we're going to go shift cos of 0.5 and we get a value of 60. So what that tells us is that alpha, which we're not sure how to write that. Alpha is equal to 60 degrees. Okay, this one's slightly more complicated because what we need to do is get rid of this 2 first to get our sine beta to it by itself. So what we can say is sine beta is 1.213 divided by 2. Okay, not too difficult. And therefore the beta is going to be second function all of 1.213 all over 2. Okay, so first you get rid of the number in front of the trig sign by dividing or timesing or multiplying or whatever we need to do. But in this case we divide because we're going to get rid of the 2 over there. And then we second function sign it. So if we pop out the calculator, we're going to go shift sign bracket 1. 0.213 divided by 2, close our brackets and get 37.34. 37.34. So therefore the sine angle beta is equal to 37. Beta is equal to 37.34 degrees. Okay, let's look at something more complicated. Now we've got tan gamma is it minus 3172, 3.712 equals 0. So what we want to do is first of all get everything that doesn't have the gamma onto the other side. So we're going to say, okay, fine, tan gamma is equal to 3.712. That's fine, we can cope with that. Now we need to get the gamma by itself. So what do we do? We're going to second function tan that. In other words, we're going to get gamma is equal to tan to the negative 1 of 3.712. Okay, so you always get this alone first. And then as soon as you've got the thing with the variable alone, you can then pull this out. Okay, so let's use our calculator again. So again, we want shift tan of 3.712 and we get 74.92 so therefore gamma is equal to 74.92 degrees 
This time we've got cos 2 theta is equal to 0.427. So what we're first going to do is pretend that this is just one big angle. Okay, it could be anything. So therefore, we could say really that we've got cos of a block is equal to 0.427. Therefore, that block is equal to second function cos of 0.427. Okay, you happy with that? So now, so don't be freaked that you've got two theta, just think of it as one big angle, which we're calling a big block at the moment. So let's find out what that block equals. That block equals, if we use our calculator, is going to be shift cos of 0.427. And that is 64.72. So therefore the block is equal to 64. 7, 2 degrees. But do you agree that the block is equal to 2 theta? So what 2 theta is equal to 64.72 degrees and we want to know what theta is. So theta, to get rid of the 2, what do we do? We divide both sides by 2. So therefore we've got theta is equal to 2 goes into 6 3 times that's a 2.36. So 32, theta is 32.36 degrees. Okay, so be careful. Always think of this thing here as one whole angle. Even if it's a 3 or a half theta, whatever it is, you think of it as one whole angle. You second function, whatever this trig function is, cos, sine, tan, whatever it is, to get what that size is and then play with the number in front of it. Okay. Let's look at something more complicated. This time we've got a half tan 2x is equal to 4. Now again, we're aiming to get x by itself, but the first thing we do is we get tan x by itself. In order to do that, we need to divide both sides by half. Or another way of doing that is we can times both sides by 2 over 1. So we've got tan... 2x is equal to 8. Now remember I said to you this thing here can be represented as a block. So we can say 2x is equal to second function tan of x. Remember that this is the same thing as one whole thing. 2x is equal to the second function tan of 8. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my calculator out again and we're going to go shift tan of 8 and that is equal to 82.87 82.87 so therefore 2x is equal to 82.87 so to get x by itself what do we need to do we need to divide both sides by 2 so we end up with 41.435 which rounds off to 41.44 degrees you're not too bad, hey? Now, just as much as you need to think of this as a block that we solve for, this, remember, everything in a bracket by is thought of as a single number. So you can think of this again, everything in the bracket, as a single block. So therefore we can say, okay, fine, well, x plus 10 degrees, which is our block in inverted commas, is going to be the second function of 0.745. In other words, we're going to look at this as if it was a theta or alpha or beta, just as much as we thought 2x of as an alpha or beta theta. We're thinking of it as one whole thing. So therefore, we've got x plus 10 degrees. Okay, I don't know why I put the brackets in. And then we're going to go second function. So we're going to go, okay, fine. Shift sine of 0.745. And that gives you 48.16, 48.16. This angle here is 48.16 degrees. But we didn't ask for what is x plus 10. We actually wanted you to solve for x. So therefore, we're going to go x is equal to 48.16 degrees minus 10 degrees. Because when we take this across, it becomes a minus. So that becomes 38.16 degrees. So whenever you have something that's weird after your sine or tan or cos, always think of it as one whole number, okay? Get rid of, first get rid of the coefficient, then you get rid of the trig ratio, and then you divide times add subtract, whatever we need to do to solve for the x.
Right, okay. Grade 10, so that is all the different types of equations, simple trig equations you're going to come across this year. Please practice, 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 and then make sure you can do it, and then do the assessment at the end of the section. Have a lovely day. Thank <music> you.